made me join WISE was definitely just the idea of it having a support group of women in science and engineering. The opportunities that Stony Brook has to offer. Joining a community of women who would support me. I just feel like good about being a woman in STEM. I feel like I'm doing the right thing. Uh, it's a great way to get engaged in the Stony Brook community in ways you might not think of. Um, women across this campus who are in STEM together and allows us to work together in order to overcome the challenges that we face in the STEM field. Definitely mentoring because my mentor group has provided unconditional love and support for me and it's one of the one things that I look forward to every single week. The two hours that I spend with them I would not replace with anything else. Working together is a lot more powerful than working by yourself. The fact that I would be in a community of women like me and that I would be open to many opportunities. Um, some advice that I'm gonna give you was that even if you're a woman in physics or whatever that field may be, you can still wear skirts and dress up and feel comfortable with how you look and who you are as a person. Yeah, I don't really see as many females in my classes or um, female professors and I feel like that's really discouraging. I want to be able to relate to these people um, teaching me and learning alongside of me. But when I don't see these people, it's like, I don't belong here. Like, no one's saying that, but it's like, indirectly. The fact that it's very hard to rise up in the leadership rank. Want, it's really good that WISE brings us all together so we know we're not alone. I think women should be able to do whatever they want. That's kind of the point of this STEM movement. Women do not move up the leadership uh, ladder as men do. For example, in healthcare, there's a lot of women in healthcare that make up the majority, but in the management sections, there's not as many women. I think the stigma of physics being scary, as one would say, started mainly because the first people that you think of in physics are Albert Einstein and, you know, old man with like white hair and just this crazy looking dude. And I feel like I've encountered so many women in it and so many powerful women in it. And I think that if we showcase more of that, more of that side that you can be a physics professional and also have really good communication and be really passionate about your field that more people would feel that and become excited about it and want to go in because there's a lot of interesting opportunities in my field. It's very hard to get over that gap and it's going to take some time um, but I feel like once we do we'll be very successful.